Hey, this is Hunter from Hunter Photographic. Uh, so what I've done here is open up a recent wedding uh, in Photo Mechanic, which is what I use to call. And there's a reason that I use Photo Mechanic and not Lightroom for calling images. The primary reason is that I can open up a wedding in just seconds using Photo Mechanic because it uses the built-in previews uh, for each image uh, that were generated from the camera. I don't have to wait for it to regenerate all the previews uh, such as Lightroom. So what you can see me doing here is simply zipping through the photos, giving each one just a, a second or less of my attention. And as I go, I'm flagging each one. I'm simply using one on the keyboard uh, to flag the selects in magenta, and then using zero to undo the flag, for example, if I change my mind. Um, and as I go, you'll notice in certain instances, like here, I'll zoom in uh, just using Z to quickly check the critical focus before moving on. And as I work, uh, I'll do a first pass, like the one I'm doing here, to basically loop in all of the potential photos. Uh, I call these maybes. And then once I'm done, they'll get saved off to a new folder called maybe. I'll then open up the maybes and go through them one more time, this time making my final selects before I bring them into Lightroom. Generally speaking, um, you know, when I'm shooting a wedding uh, and I first come into the room, what I'll do is focus my attention on details, mostly so that people there can get accustomed to my presence without having a camera immediately thrust into their face. I find this helps them to kind of adjust to me being there. And then, as you see here, I'll turn my attention more to candids. As I'm working, I'll generally stick with the composition looking for, you know, just the right photo to come up. And as you can see here, I'm sorting through ones looking for the one with the least distraction. That one seems to be the winner. Then as I continue to go, mostly what I'm looking for is expression and inter interaction between people. With Kara and Mark, it was really easy. Her bridesmaids were um, an amazing group to work with. and. Um, she's just stunning, so this wedding works out pretty well. And as I work, the other thing I'll do is constantly shift my composition, looking um, to come in close for details, expanding back out again um, for expression. As you can see here, I've come in a little closer for detail. And then expanding back out again. Here's another example of kind of sticking with a moment, looking for just the right expression. And I think it's right about here. And of course, I can't turn down a selfie. I think you can see me, myself in the phone. And there I am. As new people come in and out of the room, I always take a moment to try to loop them into the photos wherever possible. And of course, if the bride asks for a particular photo, you always say yes. And here I've shifted over to Mark, who was getting ready in the same hotel. And I oftentimes tell my clients that if you get ready at the same location, then I can cover both of you. There may not be a need in that case for a second photographer. And Kara and Mark took my advice. Um, they both got ready in the same hotel, so it was easy for me to jump between the two of them. And again, here I'm shifting between kind of close in details and getting his expression. Here you'll see me get really indecisive about a hug in just a second. I'm trying to decide between this one and maybe a tighter embrace, and I eventually settle on the tighter embrace right there. Like a lot of brides and grooms, Mark and Kara exchanged gifts in the morning. He was lucky enough to get a stunning watch. I think I even asked him which one it was so that I could uh, look for one myself.
I think you can also tell from these photos that um, I'm using some fill flash. So I largely set the camera to account for the light coming in from the window, treating that as the main light. But I have a flash on the camera, which I simply point into the room away from the window and bounce off the ceiling to just add a little bit of fill light. I also have my camera set up in a way so that there's a custom shooting mode where with a quick flick of, um, of a button on my camera, I can swap into this black and white mode. And those photos, for the most part, um, you know, even after I pull them into Lightroom and start editing, the ones that I, I shoot in that black and white mode, um, I keep them in black and white. I could convert them to color if I wanted to. So there's, you know, there's still color information there. Um, I just generally choose to keep them as black and white because I really like how they turn out. And here I've gone back to the bridesmaids to finish up getting ready. Here Kara's getting dressed with her mom. I love a lot of the expressions here. And I think you can probably notice some equipment in the background in just a few of the photos. Um, on this particular wedding, I was working with a videographer named Vince. We have a great working relationship. And pretty much for every composition, we would communicate on who's going to be where. Um, lots of really good, solid communication. And even with that communication, we end up with each other um, in some shots. But it's no big deal. Like on the right, you can see uh, the videographer. That's easy for me to crop out. Just a lesson in keeping an open mind and communicating as much as possible. Speaking of which, this composition was actually the videographer's idea, and I love how the photos turned out. I love kind of shifting into this almost semi-silhouette. Um, so yeah, like I said, just keep an open mind, and sometimes the people you work with can actually bring you a lot of benefit. Vince is definitely a good example of that. I happen to hate shooting details of earrings. They're always so too small, you know, tough to shoot in isolation. So I generally go with this composition um, as a way of shooting uh, the earrings in detail. There's your detail shot. It just creates for a much more peaceful moment and it's a lot easier to do. And here I'm looking for the closed eyes for the kiss right there. And there's, there's our video assistant just lending a little hand. Kara remarked at this time that uh, the letter was a bit too emotional for her to handle, so she folded it back up and said that she'd read it later. Karen and Mark were actually, um, I think they either met or got engaged at a particular restaurant, and she remarked before the wedding that she was looking for a way to include um, this restaurant where they were either, either met or, or engaged in the wedding, um, but she couldn't come up with a good idea, but he did. He actually got a menu from the restaurant frame for her, so that happens to be what her gift is. There's Vince. <laughs> of course, this is a first look with her dad. And it may look for a moment that I missed the, the handkerchief catching the tear, but it'll come back around again. There we go. And of course, the bridesmaid singer for the first time as well. So more than anything, I just kind of wanted to give you a quick look at my process. Um, the video is going to end with the prep. Um, give Photo Mechanic a look. It's worth its time and the money. It's not very expensive at all. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. I'm more than happy to help and have a good day.